what is up everyone welcome back to another 240 vlog i know it's been a little while but i have been really busy trying to get this car done the 240 is pretty much done and we could officially start the season so pretty much today video i'm gonna show you guys what i have done to the car what is missing what has been happening for the past two months now and what's coming next all right so pretty much here's the nissan 240 s13 a little difference we changed the headlight we wrapped the bumper the rest of the body stayed the same and also a big difference on the interior. Let me just show you guys. So pretty much here's the interior, a big change this year. Now, um, I don't know if I, I don't know, I don't remember what was my last video about, but anyways, <laughs> it's been a little while, trust me. Um, so I did my cage, right? Now one thing that you guys probably noticed and it's missing is the second door bar. Now, I haven't finished that yet because since I'm not running an A-Class yet, I'm just gonna save it up for later. Here's the cage. Here's the whole interior. We added a second bucket seat for the passenger side. I think it looks so good. Here, pretty much my Sparkle racing seat, a new Takata harness. Now we got two of them. Man, I love these harnesses. They look so good. Here is the positioning, right? We changed the positioning of the hydro. So a little different here on the hydraulic e-brake. Uh, we actually, I actually brought it a little forward. Um, so that'd be a little more comfortable for me when I'm drifting. Um, let me just show you guys a little quick what I did with the bracket. Bang. Here's the bracket that I created for the hydraulic e brake. Look at that. I box it out and I also reinforce it, you know, making sure that this thing won't fall apart, you know, on one of those events. Huh, sit tight here. Anyway, let me get back here. Another cool feature that I add into the 240 is this actually arc race panel. Look at how clean is this thing look. Here we got the Q switch. This is the main power switch. You flip this on, everything lights on. The lights, the arc panel. We got power over here, cigarette lights. So we got over here, our ignition. You flip this, all the gauges turns on. Right? Everything turns on, all the lights and everything. Well, I mean, the lights is already controlled by the kill switch. We got fuel. And for last, we got our starter. I'm gonna crank this out in a bit. I just want to give you guys an update of what is up. I actually changed up my fire extinguisher positioning. Last year was sitting over here. It kind of bothered, you know, the passenger. So I brought it down here under the legs. Easy access, you know, easy to grab. No problem. The battery was, let me just turn this up before, you know, this light sucked the whole battery thingy. The battery was actually relocated behind the passenger seat. This is, doesn't belong here. I just left it in there, you know, because I would just, you know, try to maybe put another one over there, but maybe not. On the rear compartment, where the trunk is, I actually added bed liner for more durability, you know, and also hopefully easy to clean. Right? Turn this on. Got all the lights, power. Man, look at all those lights, man. I got this little controller anyway. So if you turn it on, we actually can select the color that we want. So check this out, guys. Red, green, 
blue, white, yellow, oh, I mean orange, yellow, another blue, light blue, and purple. Whoa, actually purple looks really good, I love it. No bad, stay purple then. All right, that's our controller. Let's turn this off. Um, what else I have done to the car? Oh, let me show you guys the engine bay. Whew. It's just a lot, guys. It, it is a lot. It's been, you know, like forever in here. I remember when I, you know, was taking out the car apart. Hook pins, everything latch up really good. Oh, I got new headlights. I'll show you guys in a bit. This 2K stuff, it is pretty amazing. This is actually a 2K paint from Eastwood. Look at that. It does look really good. I was actually planning to do this side as well, but since I ran out, I guess we're gonna wait for the paint to arrive. But this actually, it looks very good. Look at this. Very nice. Oh, look at this. Aluminum brackets. I just did that yesterday. You know, I painted this yesterday and also I did the brackets. I wanted to make sure that the cart was good. Uh, man, this thing amazing, man. It looks good. What do you guys think? It's worth, right? It's worth it the time that I've been putting in this car. It's been, wow, a little bit over six months now, I believe, you know? We did the front end, we did the cage, we got new headlights. Um, let me just tell you what happened with the headlights. So I pretty much, I don't know, I parked the good car for about a week so. I turned the headlights on, I cranked the car, the car was running fine. Five minutes after, both headlight went off. So I think we have a wire cut somewhere, you know, uh, when I was uh, actually installing, you know, the tops or I don't know, something went bad. So I have to get new headlights and also I have to rewire pretty much everything. That was crazy. So here's all the wiring. Look at that. Look at that mess over there. All this, the other side. Uh, the headlight motors, I had to cut them out because it wouldn't fit the new radiator. It's a pain in the ass, man. So much work. But look at all that. It's 100% worth it. Damn, it looks so good. Let me show you guys the headlights. I actually added a cool feature that a 240 doesn't have. So if you turn this on, ready? Ta-da, we got daily running lights. Look at how amazing it looks. Damn, I'm so in love with this, man. Look at that, this is looks so good. Now, if you actually turn, I believe, what is this again? No, keys, I'm sorry. Keys, and we have access to our signal. Look at that. You get the top one, and we get the bottom as well. Damn, these are really bright. You can probably see on video, but there you go. The yellow one is blinking as well. We got the left side. And now we got the right side. Damn, I'm so excited. And also, I believe that we got hazard lights on. What? Damn, it does actually look really crazy. I'm pretty stoked. All right. Let's crank this car up. All right, no more lights. It's done. So I already showed you guys the lights. Everything is good. Uh, ignition, keys on. Let's pump the fuel. Our gauges is on. It's looking good. And let's just start this thing. Boom!
another thing that I wanted to show you guys here. I don't know if you guys can see, but this actually this metal bracket here that holds the bumper in place. I custom made it this because as you guys know, we actually running a different setup this year and I actually have to custom made this so I could just hold my bumper in place. We pretty much deleted the legs that holds the, the motor and this bumper and all that. You know, we deleted all that crap and I had it to custom made all these brackets so I could just support my bumper. Now, a lot of people ask about is what I did with these two valves over here. Now, I tapped this with an AN fitting, right? And also this one, actually that was going into the intake manifold, I blocked it, right? I rerouted everything with an oil catch can here, here, and this is my setup here. Boom. This one as well. Boom, right? So, and also there was actually another valve that I left open. Now this is actually a filter, you know, for this sensor. This doesn't have nothing to do with, you know, vacuum or anything crazy. You could pretty much lift that open or you could just put a filter on it and you'll be good. Now another thing that I have to do with this piping is I need to add actually the weather strip like on this side right that I haven't done yet uh, now plants my next project is I'm gonna actually try to pie cut everything here now I'm planning to do stainless steel or titanium but titanium it is pretty expensive but since we on a budget I think I'm gonna hold up for titanium and I think I'm gonna do stainless steel I don't know we we'll see and also I actually want to reroute this thing this is pretty tight in here i don't know is this gonna be efficient i don't know Also over here, I tapped it. The AEM coolant temperature sensor into the block. Now I don't know if you guys remember, but last year we have actually a connector, you know, that allows us to put in the NPT sensor in there. I took that out, I tap it into the block, and it's running perfect. It looks a lot cleaner like that. Doesn't look, doesn't really have a million things laying around, you know. Oh my god, it's been so long. All right, so that's pretty much that wrapped up the video. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's more stuff to mention, but you know, the car is ready. Like I said, I'm gonna be drifting an RSD on the weekend on the 16th. Uh, hopefully, I see some of you guys there. If you, you know, get to swing by, say hello, whatever, you know. But uh, yeah, more video actually is gonna be coming. I'll see you guys next time.